Well, evening, fellow zombies. Are we alive yet? Are we awake yet? Are we emotionally deprived, screwed up, or whatever? This is your zombie weaver, John C. of Rosebud, California. It's 5.35 at night. West Coast time's the 29th. Still counting down until, yeah, still January 2024. <laughs> Watching a show... Uh, Nine one one, uh, Fox News special thing been on there for several years. Uh, emergency responders dealing with situations and crises and having their own at home crises. Been on there for about seven years. Moved off of eleven. Now ABC's got them. But I'm seeing all the back issues on Hulu. <laughs> I'm waiting for the new stuff to come out so I can watch it. And it was on Channel 11. But somehow the company and corporation made some ass weird ass deals and now they're on ABC's turf. Let's see. Good about C CW. But, you know. Highly rated. Stayed on there for a hell of a long while. The spinoff of uh, 911 uh, Houston, or something like that. They're still on 11. They'll be doing the second or third season. It's rated enough where they kept them. Watching the back episodes on this one, it's the fourth season, fifth episode. Dealing with the quote-unquote proverbial family secret at would tear them apart, and I kept, I'm trying to watch it, I'm trying to understand it. Now, keep this in mind, when I was born, Ma didn't go through this kind of stuff. I mean, she didn't. But she did go through uh, almost losing my big brother. Se uh, seven and a half, nearly eight years older than I am. And because she was out and about trying to get a job, you know, moving from actually moving from Utah all the way over to California, Grandma finally settling in Bell, and so did uh, Ma's older sister, Irene, called Irene. Here and her family settled out in Bell, too, across the street from Grandma. Ma was living out in Huntington Park at the time. And David was staying at Aunt Rainey's house more often than not. Because Ma was out there trying to hunt for another place for her to live, but not to mention building up the money for that. In order for her to build up the money for that, she had to work like crazy. She still tried to support David wherever she could, but yeah. Got to the point where she found a home San Fernando Valley out in North Hollywood. I just got born. In a couple of years. Huh, I'm gonna be a detriment to Mother during that time but she was at a company was actually getting her money enough to move into a place get it set up. So hopefully she can be reunited with her firstborn, big brother. As much as I'm remembering the story as well. But Aunt Rini and her family didn't want to lose David. They wanted to adopt him. Outright. Grandma said that was a good idea because David has a stabi uh, stable home life. He knows sisters. Well, cousins are like sisters. Little do we know about the other things happening in the home. But Ma was adamant to having her son. And she went against Grandma, the matriarch, and her sisters to keep Dave. So there was a bit of animosity happening between them. But I didn't realize, and I heard this from Dave, and I never heard it from Ma. That there was another kid right after Dave. 
I didn't know who the father was. I didn't know anything else except there was a kid. I never knew anything about it. David told me in the adult life, you know, like about 20 years ago or more. I didn't question it during that time. I didn't understand it, and I didn't. I wasn't upset by it. If I was, I'd be pushing my brother on that one. And Ma, what the hell happened to him? And it was died at birth. Could have had a brother. Could have had two brothers. Instead, I had one big brother. It was no wonder he was more adamant at being the protector. But he also had some issues that had to be ironed out. And Ma and him had to learn how to iron out those damn issues when I was born. And one or two years into the birth, being alive, I was tending how patient services to learn how to deal with my brother's emotional issues because he was getting abandonment shit going on. He felt like he was abandoned. He felt angry at Ma. He felt like Aaron and Uncle George were Mama and Papa to him. Ma was going to fight. She'd fight through the courts if she had to. In the end, she had to fight my brother in a way to change his mind. took her and Dave a long time to reconcile. took a lifetime. To the point where they were still sharing secrets that I wasn't privy to a lot of them, unfortunately. I wish I was. I could have known more family history going on. That's the thing that kind of pisses me off, that I wasn't privy to a hell of a lot of the family stories what was going on. I don't know why. I would have been, I would have been learning more and more about my family during those days. And the people I needed to talk to were already gone a long time ago. So the stories died with them. Suppositions, guesses, and that's all I'm left with. Imagination. And watching the episode, I'm seeing one of the characters tearing himself apart because he's very emotional about it characters in his mid to late 20s but he's still learning more about his family tragedy and not quite sure how to deal with the crap how would I have handled it would be the question ever since Dave died I mean it was almost no point for me talking about it but it still hurt like a, it, it still hurt it still hurt a great deal and Trying to deal with that. Well, that was just pain in the ass. I mean, granted, things happened. And I had to get used to it, but... It wasn't that easy for me to get used to. It literally wasn't. How the hell was I supposed to be able to deal with something like I, I could have had a brother? I could have had another brother. Maybe I could have had a sister. But they didn't know the full details. I think it was a brother. But he was died in, in, in childbirth. Maybe it was for the best. Maybe it could have been me. Substituting from one body to another body. I mean, it happened in between. So, who's to say... It wasn't supposed to happen that way. I don't know. Honest to God, I don't know. And could I have been more pissed off about the whole situation? I mean, I could have. I could have. I mean, could have been. I'm setting up some videos right now that I'm going to be posting. 
I'll be posting this one as soon as I'm done with this. So, I don't get it. I mean, it would leave me with questions at this point that I have no way of finding answers out. So, it would be one of the mysteries that I would still have to look at and just be confused, befuddled, and just deal with it. I don't know why, but it is. So, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, I don't know. Just deal and cope. That's about it. But how would I be able to reconcile that? I mean, I thought about it once in a while. The thing of it is, it wasn't... It wasn't traumatic enough. It wasn't like, um, oh, did you realize that we actually had a brother? We could have had another brother? You could have really been the baby? I mean, it's like that thing that my brother did on me. I think about 20, 25. I don't know. It's been a long time ago. And maybe it would have irked me a bit. But I'll never know him. I'll never know that baby. I'll never know if it would have been another big, uh, another brother for me to deal with. And would I have been able to deal with that? Now, I mean, if there was a brother or sister that Ma didn't tell me about, but I guess that doesn't matter, does it? Because all of mine that mattered a great deal to me are gone. They're gone. And I've got nothing or no way to fix that or correct that, if any. Should it be? I don't know. How would I feel if there was another sibling out there in the world? Shared either my last name or my family's last name. I mean, we never did change my last name when I was growing up. I was, I didn't know if it would change me for the bit if I actually changed my last name from Weaver to Shaw. Or maybe added the name Shaw to it. Have four names. Why not? I've heard people have many more names after that. And they just say shorten it to this name here. And these days, I prefer to be called by my last name. There's so many Johns out there, but there's also so many John Weavers, John C. Weavers. and Just call me Weaver. Screw it. I got used to it. They work in different offices. Hey, Weaver, what's up? Okay. Yeah, go by the last name. What's the first name? John. What are you being inferred? Weaver. So it's my identity. It's my name. It's who and what I was raised up under. I got no issues with it. I got no issues with anybody else who's got, an, uh, who's got a question concerning about my name. I had questions about my name. Why did I have the last name of Weaver instead of Shaw? I think I asked Ma and David about that one. I think we had a conversation at one time about that. I said, how do you feel about being called Sean? I don't know. I'm still trying to get the na- use of the name Weaver. But I'll tell you, as an adult, it's a pain in the ass trying to change all those damn records. As a kid, maybe it'd be a hell of a bit harder than that one a long time ago. But how would I have been able to deal with that one? John Cameron Weaver Shaw, or just John Cameron Shaw. I liked Cameron because I liked being called Cameron. That was distinction. I thought it was distinctive. Didn't realize there was also a common name out there for first and last name, surname, middle name. God knows what else we got. Tell us they're looking up more information and more history about the Cameron line. And more related to, to Scotland instead of England. My last name relates to England. My first name, hell, it's common enough anyway. Shit. Well, Weaver back in England, I mean, he said it wasn't royalty. It was just 
labor. You're a weaver. What are you weaving? Stuff. So I could be a story weaver. Storyteller weaver. I weave stories. I don't weave baskets. My fingers can't do this shit, but I can weave words together. So in that case, I guess I am a weaver. I'm also a griever and a mourner. And I mourn and I grieve. But I can't grieve something unless it's already hit me directly. And I'm going to mourn the living crap out of him because maybe I've got a connection to him. But if I don't have a connection to this one, I can't mourn. And if it's got to be some kind of weird-ass connection to it, then maybe I'll feel the sympathy. And then maybe I'll cry about it. I don't know about the kid. I didn't know anything about the kid. And it was, I had him and, and, and that was it. Died. It must have really shattered her a bit. And she was really hell-bent on trying to keep my ass alive all the time because she didn't want to lose another kid. So maybe I can understand that. Uh, I can understand that point of view. Ma wanted to keep me alive nearly at all costs. <sighs> I had to fight with the doctors all the time. She didn't want me to fight with the doctors. She wanted me to be treated by doctors. She wasn't about to lose this kid here. But my brother, shit, he had to be taking all the damn responsibility. He's firstborn. Fuck. How, you, how has that been on his ass? Sometimes I wish I was actually able to talk to him about this crap. Or my... Having a deep-seated conversation over this. Try to understand what happened back then. And that's, the th that's another thing that tears me apart because when you lose family, you lose history, you lose information, you lose things that might have pieced other things together, maybe a new puzzle for you to learn and, and another aspect, another something. And then you lose it, and then it's, was it supposed to be important? Or am I just blowing this damn thing out of proportion? That would have been a question, wouldn't it? How would it have been if I actually had a brother or sister out there somewhere? Maybe with the last name of Weaver. Maybe with the last name of Cameron. Maybe with the last name of Shaw somehow. I don't know. There's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of them out there. And either accept it, move on, and just deal with it, or just go absolutely start graving nuts over it. I know. Phrase is usually mad, but nuts works better for me. Hell of a thing to think about. I'm going to turn 58 tomorrow, and then I'm talking about this damn grad. I, You know, a while ago, I kept trying to put my name to those local media guys out here to say, well, now it's my name because I've got a birthday coming up. I'm going to be this way. You know, it never, it never did happen. I mean, how many millions of people you got over here trying to shove that shit down the media's throat and saying, I want my name and date of birth published. And do the damn smiling shit. Facebook, it's like, eh, who the, hell, who the hell are you? Who the hell cares? Maybe you'll get a few likes and that's about it. Maybe a few birthday wishes, but trying to feed the damn ego and everything else. Well, by then I'm doing YouTube here. Go figure on that shit. But I'm reflecting upon my years. I'm reflecting upon how birthdays affect me, how lack of information from one, about family here, from one thing to another thing to another thing. I mean, I'll send this damn thing out tonight as a wind file. And I kept asking myself, what the hell am I going to do for my birthday? Well, I know I've been doing for a hell of a lot of reflection, trying to figure shit out, trying to understand if it's this all worth it or not. Maybe it still is. Maybe something's got to count or something. So I've got a few hours left before I turn into the mortal coil of 58. 
And the paranoid countdown continues because my brother came up with the theory a long time ago that stuck in my head all this damn time. But it seems like I'm trying to psych myself into death. Only because I've also seen how it affected him and affected everybody else. So naturally, should I be following that particular point of view? Age of 60, the Cameron men in our particular bloodline had, loosed, had been losing their lives left and right, one form or another, either by voluntary or involuntary. Involuntary could be the biological clock shutting down, performing some kind of weird-ass conditions to kill it one way or another, or the natural way, taking something and blowing one's face off. And I had one uncle did that already. Well, after he reached 60... He was already going crazy enough anyway, and then became obituary. I've had other uncles dealing with health conditions that took their ass out. My brother got taken out by stroke. Now my turn. I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, it's a scary thing. It's even worse than watching all those damn horror flicks back in the 80s and 90s and trying not to be affected by those damn shit. I mean, made up Hollywood shit, but this is going to be the regular shit coming up. I can laugh about it, or I can freak out about it, or I can just say, <laughs> deal with it. It's going to happen, it's going to happen, and i got to deal with God on God's terms, and after that, I don't know what the hell's going to happen. I don't want to be pissing off God. God doesn't want me pissing him off. I don't think that's even manageable. I don't think that's even warranted. So for me, being put into that kind of situation where I'm going to be just tense all the time, I don't think boss man upstairs wants me to be that way. If I'm living long, I'm living long. If I'm not, well, then I know I'm killing my body because of one damn reason or another. Either I'm choosing it or something else cho chose it for me. But when it also comes down for family information, I mean, I know that information's already lost already. I mean, I don't think the cousins would have that information. Hell, they're not even talking to me anymore. Kind of sucks. It would have been nice to have any communications from them, but you know, I don't give a shit anymore. No, because we would have had communications, and that's the thing. When you're a family, you got to have some kind of form of communication to keep in touch with each other. Still be connected to family, but if I'm not getting it from anybody... So it's like, on you. I'll hurt, I'll ache, I'll pain, I'll cry, I'll freak, I'll storm, and I'll be a damn toddler brain looking for mommy. But the thing of it is, I also have to grow up and mature, because sometimes you just don't have a damn fucking choice. I keep asking myself, what the hell did I do to these people? And the answer is, not a damn thing. If there was something wrong, they could have said something about it, but since they didn't say anything about it, what the hell do I want to do? What do I need to do for myself is be kind, be gentle, and just deal and live. I still have goals to complete, trips to plan, if I can. Mobility aside, money aside, health aside. So what do I want to do? Well, besides completing the damn educational shit over here, I may not be uh, I may not be university level, but just community college level. Hey, I'm good for that, so I can get a degree out of the damn thing. Then I gotta start thinking about something else to deal with. I can tell you that right now I've already dipped into this this amount of money. I should have been sending back to the government, concerning about the uh, FAFSA funds. I owe the federal government on that one. If I could save enough of the damn money and pay them back, maybe pay them back out of my damn Social Security. My disability shit there. I'll be eating ramen for a while. I already got a package of ramen already. Not the small packages. I'm talking about tray here. Beef and chicken. That works. College people food, you know. Eat noodles to satisfy your hungry gut. Don't stress about it. These things, I, I work out of my head on this. As long as I keep getting some some stuff out of the groceries, I'm doing okay. 
I don't have to go to fast food places if I can fix the stuff I need or want. I know how to fix fries. I mean, I can fix shoe fries, no problem. I can fix wedge. That may be a problem, but I'll still do it anyway. Takes a little while. Takes deep planning on those things. No, no, no. You, so you cut the damn potatoes. Actually, you shave the potatoes, and you cut the potatoes, soak the damn potatoes. Make sure that you're getting rid of the damn starch, rinse them out a, bit, a couple of times. I soak them for maybe about a day or two. Rinse them off again. And then I can put them in a hot oil, fry them up, and see what the hell happens. I still got hamburgers and hamburger buns. So I can have cheeseburgers. I can fix me that food. Fix my favorite on that one. Throw onion, mustard, cheese, hamburger, bun, boom. If I need chili, I got chili. It's not uh, the greatest chili, but you know, it still works. I like hormel. So I can fix the food. I still have fingers. I still have digits. I can still maneuver on out on the stove. What I would love to have these days, what I would love to have the oven to do, if it was still working, bake. I mean, I could do American chop suey and have that stuff last for days on that one. American chop suey is like a you know, spaghetti sauce, elbow macaroni, cheese laid on top of the damn thing. Of course, you'd fry up some hamburgers and throw in some onion, uh, onions and mushrooms and have the cheese lay on this, on this stuff and just cook it for about 20 minutes. Cheese gets golden brown, maybe black in a couple of areas, but still, crunchy enough. I mean, it's a decent meal. You fix it in under an hour. Chicken. Baked chicken. Two and a half hour situation. Of course, chicken raw is more expensive than getting a damn rotisserie over at the store. I get that over three or four days because I'm feeding my mother and I'm feeding me. I'll do stuff with the chicken if I have to. And with the noodles I got. Chicken noodle soup, anybody? Throwing some onion for flavoring and I got some, I got some eating right there. Keep the onions away from the dog and she'll have her own. She'll have a little bit of ramen noodle. I gotta keep her away from the damn broth. I'll kill her. But the chicken she'll eat. I wanted to have pizza. Maybe I'll still think about that one. Have pizza for uh, dinner tomorrow night or in the afternoon. See, I have to balance the I have to balance and manage the money I've got right now. Even how much EBT I've got to get bulk bulk stuff from Amazon if I had to. Uh, if I go into an individual store, I can get that way, but the transportation sucks. But Uh, I'm keeping an eye on my dog. She's wandering around a little bit. I got pee pads down, so I'll take care of that for her. Yeah, 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 I hear you, Ma. I hear you. Grunts and groans, and sometimes I can tell what she's talking about. If she starts whining at me. I know she's got a problem. Life is life. I'm dealing with it. I'm coping with it. Uh, I guess my 30 minutes are up, so I'm up with a belly aching tonight. I may do belly aching part two.